This, this system was used in Britain and Australia before the adoption by the International Standards Organization of third angle projection. The model I've got here is the model that we used before to describe third angle projection system and we're going to use the same front elevation. Front elevation, as I said, is exactly as it was before. A view from the left hand side, which we're showing here, is actually projected right over onto the right hand side in first angle projection. It's the same with all the other views. Here we've got the front elevation again. A view from the right hand side is projected over here onto the left. A view from the top is shown below the front, front elevation. And a view from the bottom is shown above the front elevation. All the views are identical in, sh in format, in, in shape, to the, to the views in, used in the third angle projection system, but they're just in the opposite positions on the sheet. The symbol for this, again, is based on the truncated cone, that, that way around. Uh, if we look at from the the small diameter end, so we can get the the two concentric circles, that's shown over here on the left hand side. So a view from the right of that is shown over on the left hand side. This means that the the two concentric circles are going to be next to the larger diameter of the truncated cone, and it is the same if we show the show the symbol the opposite way up. If we had drawn the truncated cone originally in that, sh that position, then the two concentric circles would then be over on the right hand side. And we've got that shown here on the, the, the uh, title block in this symbol here, in this corner of the title block. So again we've got the the truncated cone, front elevation, we project, we project from the left-hand side so we can see the two concentric circles and it's shown over onto the